Do you have any questions for him? It's really smooth. I do this all the time. <laughs> so, to practice to talk. It's to practice ideas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I thought some of it was still a little fast in some parts. Yeah. Okay. I, I think you could slow it down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. And I wanted to know how you became Buddhist. Oh, okay. I would. I thought you, you don't have to answer the question if you don't want to. Oh, okay, okay. You can. But I think that would have made a nice part of the speech, don't you? Mm -hmm. I can tell you right now. Um, my uh, buddy was working at uh, King Suber, he's my best friend, and he knew that I was into Buddhism. Like, I was always studying. I studied Zen Buddhism, studied Theravada Buddhism, and studied Tibetan Buddhism. Um, and so he uh, called me up before I had to go to work, and he said, hey, dude, you want to go to a Buddhist meeting? I'm like, yeah! <laughs> and uh, apparently uh, someone had uh, gone through the line. He, uh, he worked at King Suber's and given him literally one of these cards. Um, and told him about a meeting they were having. And so he and I went to our, uh, our meeting on the exact same, first meeting on the exact same day. And it was, it was, it was one meeting, and the next meeting we went to was the women's division meeting, which was interesting, because they were all really, really nice, and they fed us. Uh, that's really the greatest thing, one of the most fun but things. But you were reading about Buddhism. I was, but I actually had never encountered one. this. Uh -huh. it's, it's, it's remarkably different from anything, uh, any of the, even Japanese Buddhisms, which is uh, its origin. In. But, um, and so after that, uh, that was, a, uh, my first meeting was February of 2008, and I got my, I became a member in, on April 13th of 2008. How big a group is it? Uh, we have 12, 12 million members worldwide. Mm -hmm. And here in Denver, do you have any idea? Uh, several thousand. Mm -hmm. On New Year's Day, we, uh, the uh, building over there, I'm Gajikai, which means I basically do ushering. I, uh, I run, I, I'm the behind the scenes group for all, any meetings. And we had, we, we filled up the one auditorium. Then we filled up another auditorium. Then we filled up another auditorium. Then we filled up the fourth auditorium. We were running out of places to put people. So, talk to him about his speech. Anything else? Other people have things, they, points they want to make? I think this, um, the business of this, which is all. Really? I like it. Why? Because it, uh, it's, it's something, to me, I, uh, the reason I like to do it is because I think um, it helps, it, it brings people's attention back. It's something that, not just me talking, it's, uh, I do it every once in a while just to make sure it is, it's like every two and a half it minutes. Reminds it reminds me back. of the way in Mexico, people summon waiters. Mm. <laughs> but. Up to you. It's a stylistic choice. My recommendation would be to leave it out. But Anything else for you? What's the translation for that? Uh, devotion to the mystic law of cause and effect through sound. Do you know what Chinese? Uh, Where they translated it from? It, it translated it originally from the Sanskrit uh, version, oh, the Sanskrit Lotus Sutra, into Chinese characters uh, through Tian Tai and then eventually uh, read uh, through the uh, Japanese um, uh, interpretation of the Chinese characters. So they just chant that single thing for hours? Just after we don't, we don't sit around, I mean, some people do sit around for hours. My, my, uh, my current district leader, she'll do like six hours a day. Because I watch movies and I see all these Buddhist monks like tapping this, I don't know what it is, but they tap something and they just do a single chant. There's a lot of, they're, they're actually, uh, in terms of Mahayana Buddhism, there's a lot of different chants. Uh, that ha that people do, um, but uh, we we uh, firmly believe in the idea that uh, you shouldn't just sit around and worry about yourself. You should go out and actively try and change the world. So we'll chant for a bit. We'll do morning and evening and stuff. Are you supposed to think of something else while you're chanting it? Or? No, it's, you, you you work out your problems. You work out your life. Is it in the background of the chanting? Well, yeah, because I mean, if you, once once you've been chanting for a little while, you can. I can uh, you can chant with just talking, like you, you uh, you'll be chanting and then your mind will be uh, communicating with your inner inner Buddha nature. That sounds weird, but it's true. It really does sound weird. Believe me, I'm I'm I'm, I'm a convert to the religion. I know everything sounds <coughs> weird. Well, thanks, Kevin. Mm -hmm.